What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another great episode of Tough Calls with Simone and your boy Dylan. Yes, sir. Dylan, tell them what we're talking about today. Today, we are talking about why Colin Kaepernick should be in the league because he is way, if you, if you really look into it, guys, if you really think about it for a second, open that third eye. Open your eyes. You will really know how many guys that are in the league now that Colin Kaepernick is better than. Right, better than. And also, there's a lot of people saying, spreading around lies around social media saying, guys, the reason why Cap is in the, isn't in the league isn't because of him kneeling. It's because he's not good enough to play in the NFL. LOL. False. LOL, that's false. And we are here to give you some easy calls and easy. tell you guys, not tough. not tough at all, tell you guys who that man Cap can be starting over. Now, first, let's talk about the type of quarterback that Cap was backslash is. We haven't seen him play in years. Right. So, Colin Kaepernick is a playmaker, a game changer. He's the type of quarterback that can not only throw a bomb down the field, but can also run and improvise for that first down, make some people miss, juke them, spin move, hit that B button on some folks you did. <laughs> All right. So that's the type of dude Colin Kaepernick is. He can do a it with his threat. arm. He can do it with his feet. He's a dual threat quarterback, period. Just as dangerous on the run as he is throwing that you guys see these days in Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. These guys, Colin Kaepernick been on that. Cam right. Newton was on that before this video. It's not about Cam, but right. I just it's a good comparison because they were out at the same time and they were pretty much the same kind of quarterback in right. my opinion. Right. Um, Colin Kaepernick, like Dylan said, is a playmaker. A lot of these guys, you guys stand and that's my quarterback. Your quarterback is a game manager, and there's a big difference. A game manager is par. He's they, all right. He's all right. He's average. He's somebody average. who's not going to lose you the game. He can maintain a league, and he can keep you from losing, but he doesn't know how to put the team on his back mm -hmm. and win you the game. Right. Also, a game manager has to have all the right pieces around him. He can't exactly. make a mediocre offense look great. Exactly. And I got to shout out Simone on this. He, he can't do what Carson Wentz did last year. He can't take a busted wide receiver core Greg and a busted defense to the playoffs. Exactly. A game Carson manager Wentz, ain't doing that. A game manager not doing that. A playmaker can make a running back starting at wide receiver because everyone else is hurt, i.e. Greg Ward. Carson Wentz can take that and still take the team to a playoffs over a game managing quarterback, i.e. Dak Prescott, who has... A great wide receiver core, a great offensive line, a great running back, but still can't get over that seven and nine hump. Yikes. So Colin Kaepernick is a playmaker. He can be starting over a lot of these dudes. Now let's go run down the list. Um, he can be starting over Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill, game manager, hand it off to Derrick Henry and keep him moving. He are only really effective when you were running the ball last season. Nobody was scared of you throwing the ball. Um, Mitch Trubisky, just oh garbage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the name explains itself. You see Mitch Trubisky play, you understand why Colin Kaepernick exactly. is better than him. So that's two starting quarterbacks already. Now we're on the topic of Mitch Trubisky. We can say even Nick Foles, Carson Wentz could be, I mean not Carson Wentz, Colin Kaepernick could be starting. If Nick Foles can have a job, so can Colin Kaepernick. No shade to Nick Foles, but a lot of people want to say, oh, Colin Kaepernick's getting old. Well, Nick Foles is too, and I'm pretty sure Nick Foles isn't the same running threat that Colin Kaepernick was, Black Sash is. He's not a dual threat like him. And uh, while we're on the topic of no shade, just truth also, Teddy Bridgewater. He, Teddy. Teddy, we'd love to see you out here succeeding. We'd love to the see best the brother succeeding. But... but what Colin has, Kaepernick can start over here. What has Teddy done? I can't think of one like play or anything where I was like, dang, Teddy. When the Minnesota <laughs> Vikings went on that run, that was Case Keenum. Also a game manager. Also a game manager. <laughs> but what has... Let's not even hate on the brother. Yeah, we glad the brother got yeah, that role. Right, but right. I mean, Colin Kaepernick, another brother, could have been in that spot. Exactly. exactly. Um, mm. Yeah. Another guy, he... Um, that uh, Colin Kaepernick could be starting ahead of is I just had not lost it. We'll get to edit this part out. Hold on, it's gonna come to me in a second. <laughs> okay, well while you think of that, let me go ahead and say 
Okay, we talked about some starting quarterbacks. He could be, oh, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton. He could definitely start. And now we know Andy Dalton is in a backup role right now, but right. mind you, Colin Kaepernick wasn't playing last season or the season before where Andy Dalton game managing was having a starting role. Exactly. Andy Dalton been starting for nine years. And, and doing for about what? And for about nine years, Colin Kaepernick could have been playing before him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Minshew. Gardner Min- Minshew Mania. Really? Y'all think y'all wouldn't like to have Colin Kaepernick in a Jacksonville Jaguar uniform right about now? Y'all rather have Miss Humania over, a car, over <laughs> Colin Kaepernick? Mm. I don't think you can say that with a, with a straight face. You're lying if you can. You're lying to yourself. You're lying through your teeth. Okay, now let's... We've talked about all the starters he could be starting over. Let's segue into the backup position. Oh, so sorry. Uh, go ahead. Hold on. One more starter. Well, he probably is going to be in a backup role now, but... Gonna be percent. We're starting for the Colts last year. You ready to talk about Jacoby? Y'all, y'all <laughs> telling me that uh, Colin Kaepernick could start over Jacoby Brissett last year? Mm, yeah. Oh no, because Jacoby got his job took by older Philip Rivers. So Jameis. Thirty interceptions. Do we need to say, say anything? He threw thirty interceptions. Last I should have did better than say. that. I would have just threw the ball out. I wouldn't have thirty interceptions on my name. James was a dude. 30 interceptions last year. That's all I have to say. He ended, he ended his season last year with the pick six against my Atlanta Falcons, but that's just the little cap guy. But he ended his season last year with the pick six. That's all you need to know about James Winston. Let's, okay, so that was about eight, at least, yeah. starting quarterbacks that mm-hmm. we mentioned. Eight, maybe nine, and it's some guys that are just so under the radar. We didn't even mention them. Exactly. But they still should be listed. They're just so, eh, we forgot mm-hmm. about them. So let's segue into these backup roles that Carson, I mean, not Carson, I don't even know, that's my QB, <laughs> that um, Colin Kaepernick could be starting, I mean, backing up, will have their position. Right. Now, I don't know Colin, I don't know Brubra, but I'm assuming nobody wants to be a backup, right. nobody wants to be a bench player, mm-hmm. but he hasn't been offered those roles, so we don't even know if he would take them because he hasn't been offered any backup roles. But there's plenty of backup roles, I mean, that obviously that we've seen come in last season and have to take the reins over for that starting position that Car- that Colin could have been in, i.e. Josh McCown got to play in Wild Card Weekend for us, a crucial, crucial, crucial game against the Seahawks because Carson Wentz went down. If we had Colin coming in instead of Josh McCown, a playmaker that could have made plays, Colin could have made plays instead of just wearing just, like Josh McCown right. was just a breathing body in that role. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? He literally just was just breathing in that role. He added nothing to the team. If we had Colin in that backup role, and if you're backing up a quarterback that's injury prone, you you are you know you're gonna get right. at least one, two, three starts that right. season. Doug Hodges. Doug Hodges. <laughs> Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph for the Steelers. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan and I'm even going to call out the Atlanta Falcons. He could be he he should be a backup quarterback over Matt Schaub. He should be. He should be. Um also, who else is there? Um We already said Kyle Allen. But if you're Kyle backing Allen. up somebody that's injury prone like Cam Newton, yeah. like Ben Roethlisberger, like Carson Wentz, that's a good backup role because right. you know you're gonna get some starts. You can in. get some you can get some make you go make some appearances. Exactly. You need to have a good you need to have above average backup quarterback. Dallas just signed Andy Dalton. Now Dallas. They could have yeah. signed Colin. Y'all telling me y'all would rather have Andy Dalton over Colin Kaepernick? A game manager? Over, over a playmaker? playmaker? Making plays. Making plays. Ooh. Making plays. Play, make them play. Make play, make 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 play, make them make make plays. plays. Okay. <laughs> and Mike Glennon. I hate to get on the pack because we ate up the pack. Pack football. Go pack twice. You already ate up Jacoby. Mike Glennon. Right, but come on now. <laughs> Stop playing that man cap. Y'all know he good for it. Y'all know he bought that life. Stop playing with that man cap. Get Stop that man a job. Stop it. Like, come on. Stop and don't just give him cap. a job out of pity. He right. deserves a role. He's way better than a lot of these scrubs. He's way better than a lot of these dudes quarterback in the NFL that call themselves NFL quarterbacks right about now. Right, y'all. Some of y'all just breathing bodies, handing off the ball to y'all running back. Exactly, that's all you're good for. <laughs> Ooh, and I just thought of another starting quarterback that he probably could be starting Ooh. over. Mm, y'all, t- hmm. are they ready? Minnesota Vikings fans. Ooh. Y'all telling me? Oh. Y'all wouldn't. Uh, it wouldn't be a quarterback competition. At least the competition. Are y'all ready to hear this? Y'all ready to talk about ready, this? They're not ready, Dilly. 
I don't know if y'all ready. Are y'all this woke? Is Kirk Cousins that much better than Colin Kaepernick? Is he? And how did Is Kirk he? get a job after the Redskins? There's nobody the Redskins hate more than yeah. Kirk Cousins. His numbers was okay, I guess. But yeah, how does Kirk? It's so many dudes we just dropped. That's like, how do they have a job? I mean, do y'all not remember what Colin Kaepernick did? Like, and not only did, but did with that swag goo. He was very confident. He was he a very was. confident quarterback. Yeah. I just remember when he was playing the Panthers. I don't know what um, round like of the playoffs it was, but he did the dab like oh, to troll right. Cam. And he did the Superman troll and Cam. And mind you, I'm from North Carolina, so... You know, Cam was our dude. I even though I'm a Philly fan, like you know, and it's they the home team, and I despise Cam Colin for that. <laughs> I literally despise. I'm like, who does this man think he is, dabbing on Cam, doing the Superman on Cam? I had no idea that was our savior, our Afro Jesus. Right. <laughs> and then when he was playing the Packers, we had an amazing run against the Packers, and he hit them with the. Uh, he oh yeah, it. he loved that. Uh, right. <laughs> but y'all stop playing. Stop playing with Cap. Stop Cap. Put some respect on Cap name. Stop capping on Cap. And y'all, we just gave y'all a whole list of starters. Um, I'm going to call them backup starters. Like the dudes who are backing up like Carson, injury prone dudes where you back up. But you know you're going to get one or two starts. Right. So these starters, these backup starters. These quarterback journeymen who stay landing jobs like Ryan. Like Ryan Smith, Patrick, and, and them journeymen. And like um, Nick Foles. And like Nick Foles, Take exactly. They say it, Philly Special. We it's love you true, for though. that, but. It's facts. It's straight facts. Straight facts. facts. I mean, that's what we do on Tough Love, Spit Facts. Right. I mean, do y'all think Car we Colin Kaepernick could have. what they think. The, I mean, we just say facts. There ain't no the peas. Colin Kaepernick could have led the Eagles to that Super Bowl, too. Yeah, he sure could have. And it's a darn shame he did. Colin Kaepernick could have ran the Philly Special. Colin Kaepernick could have carried us over that Seahawks game where Josh McCloud could. <laughs> that's, that's a cold, hard fact. I mean, Josh McCloud, really? Washed up. Josh and we're in like a wild card week, like a game we don't even deserve to be in. I hate when they say you don't deserve because, yeah. you know, you're there, you deserve right. it. But I'm saying, like, we had no business being in the playoffs. The The way our secondary was hurt, the way our wide receiver core was hurt, we had no business. And the fact that it wasn't Greg Ward that took us down. It wasn't Nelson Aguilar. It wasn't that we lost to Sean Jackson. It wasn't that uh, Malik Jackson was hurt the whole season. It was because Josh McCown Could had do to nothing play. For it came down to Josh McCown having to play. And to think, if y'all would have had Colin Kaepernick, maybe <laughs> y'all could have made something shake. We could have made something shake. Shake, 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 shake. shake. In another life. Ooh. Ooh. In another season. <laughs> we could have had something shaking, but you know what? It is what it is. We not the owners. If we was the owners, Cap, you would have been signed, sealed, You delivered. Deliver you're ours. Signed, sealed, delivered. You would have been on my team. Oh, you confident in your deliver. voice, boy. See, I did one little bar and quit, but you sang it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I can sing. You Anyways, did. let's cut this video off because we clouding. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let us know what you guys think. Um, do we care what they think? Not no. really. Just not go ahead video. and hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and say I agree. Love and hit it. that subscribe if you haven't already. Bye. Bye. <laughs>